Okay, so here's the motion blur tutorial um, slash motion blur without EV, so you get this kind of effect. Uh, so first off, load up uh, your 5M. Also, before you go further, download this uh, free video JPG converter. It will say potential virus. I've had no problems with it. No one else had any problems with it, so just download it. If any problems do come with it, just sue me. I am um, not bothered. But yeah, you also want to open up Photopia just while it's waiting. Uh, you'll need to use this. Uh, so yeah, it has this kind of effect. Um, this is to be this uh, tutorial is just for people that have been asking and how I get it apparently high quality. Um, but with this, the differences between extended video and export and this is that this you can use with reshade, but you can't export it through a Rockstar Editor or export the project through a Rockstar Editor and then get the reshade on it and, or export it with the reshade. The thing you'd have to do is screen record it, which I'll show you how I do it um, when we get to it, but yeah. We'll just load up the test server real quick. Now this is a, a lengthy, not a lengthy process, but it, it doesn't. It's not like a two-second thing. Like you take the screenshot, boom, you're done. Um, now this can take up to like 10, 15 minutes, uh, even if you've done it like so many times before. It's like clockwork. Um, I've done it like too many times now, but still, it does take a while just because of all the loading, the different things you have to do. And it takes a lot of storage, so I'd recommend you just delete the files once they're done, uh, once you're done with the video uh, export. Once you're done with the video, but we'll get to that later. So first off, you're in game. Um, I'll go up car in a second. Uh, what you want to do is just find a nice long stretch of road. Uh, somewhere you want to take your screenshot. Oh, I'm not going to take the snow because I can't be asked. So yeah, you just want to find a nice long stretch of road, okay. Give me a sec. I'm just trying to find a road that I haven't been on. Um, we'll go this road here. So obviously you've got this road here. You want to find something this long, I mean it doesn't really matter, but... Just want to uh, get a vehicle, any vehicle. I'm just going to use an Amarcio 5 for this because I can. Um, so, what you want to do is first I'm just going to clear the area uh, for pedestrians. So, um, obviously start recording for Rockstar Editor. Um, now, I'd say wait four seconds before you do anything because then otherwise you're going to get the uh, certain production. Uh, thing that caught the watermark in the corner. That's what I was trying to say. It's a game position, and then you just want to drive. These AIs are very annoying. Uh, it doesn't matter if you don't get the first time, so I didn't get it that time. I'm just going to keep driving there for this one. Um, an AI had been very difficult for some reason. That should be okay. I'm not too sure, but. Yeah. Fingers crossed. So yeah, just clear the vehicle, whatever, and then just go to Rockstar Editor. Load up your clip. Just take a second for this to load. Because everything loves to take time. Right, okay. So, you want to skip to where you start driving. So here, it's like... From here into about here, you could possibly get rid of that. So yeah, what you want to do is just change the camera mode. Obviously, get into your your wanted area. Mine's nothing, nothing too spectacular. Um, yeah. So then you want to change the camera mode um, to move a target and then make it to rigid. Um, and then you want to change the speed from 100% down to 5%. So then it goes all the way through. So what you do for reshade, uh, if 
you don't want to use it with reshade or you don't use reshade just exit out and export it um, it's so much easier but make sure you export it in FPS, uh, 60 fps but this is the unfortunate way that if you want to use it with reshade you have to do so alt z oh my g-force doesn't want to work one second Here's a second. All right, there we go. Okay. So now, with GeForce experience, make sure it has a frame rate of 60 FPS, otherwise it just won't work. Resolutions, whatever you want, quality, whatever you want. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. So you record it, start recording. You then just stop, hide the hood, hide your mouse, and then just let it play. All you really need so you can stop recording. You can just exit out. It's been awkward. Quick game. Right. And then you want to open Photopia. Uh, oh. So you want to open up your free video export. Um, this thing that you say for and you want to go into uh, do, 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 do. you want to go into pictures no that's later apologies you want to go wherever your um, thing saves so mine saves here um, on desktop uh, in my local drive so you want to open this have this open and you want to find your video drag and drop it into there you want to chain, you want to keep everything the same here it'll load up and it'll say like it'll be clicked on as total when you first open it just change that to every frame um, and then don't change any of this otherwise it just ruins everything but then yeah just press convert and it'll take a little minute um, depending on how big the video is but um, it will have a little ding when it's done that don't need this anymore so you can close this and then this will be open up is the, um, the file being pitched and it'll be free video to jpg converter you want to click on the video and then you want to find it so you want to open photopia actually you can open a new one do 19 20 uh for width and then 1080 by the height it won't be this automatically it's just because obviously i've already created one so this here um and then after what you want to do is uh, find this uh, where your screen shows you want to find it so here where all the lights are you want to get you want to get around you you want to get around 48 um, or 42 to 48 um, or 50s even but don't go anything above 60 because otherwise it just won't load um, but yeah just drag and drop them um, into place it may take a second depending on how many you do but yeah don't do any anything below 42 uh, and don't do anything above 60 just want to select them all 
uh, and you want to convert them all to smart object. There you go, and then once you've done that, go to layer, smart object, stack mode, and then go average. You can try maximum, medium, minimum, uh, range and all that shit, but I use average and it's always worked for me, so use average. Then there you go, there's the effect. All you have to do now is export as PNG, name whatever you want. Save it. There you go, there's your screenshot. So though, there you go. Any questions, uh, I'll put my Discord in the description below. But yeah, that's pretty much how you do it. Um, so yeah.